Dennis, it's becoming a familiar trend. Four league games in a row, four draws, four games you should have won. Yeah, I think so, and especially this one here today, just really frustrating today. Um, we needed the first goal because, you know, Brackley, you know, obviously came here for a point and they got themselves a point. And if we'd have gone one nil up, at least they would have maybe tried to have a bit more ambition in the game. But they got one nil up, defended it, wasted time. You know, from probably 15 minutes into the game, they're wasting time. And the referees allowed them to. And well, I think it was the 92nd minute he finally tried to book somebody for wasting time. But really frustrating. But when we got the equaliser, I thought we had enough urgency and tempo in our game then to go on and win it. But just wasn't to be. Bearing in mind, though, that you were missing a few players and you were 1 0 down with 15 minutes to go better than losing yeah just, just that there wasn't enough tempo in the game and I, I just I don't want to blame the ref but he didn't allow us to get any urgency into the game it just fell flat because it was blowing the whistle every two seconds or letting them waste time so it was difficult but out of desperation in the end we got our urgency we got our equaliser and we're pressing and we're pressing and we're trying to get a winner but yeah of course you know we miss Garns you certainly miss Greg today and Dow you know, Greg would have, with a balance would have had on the left there. It was frustrating because obviously with David out there, and he's not a winger anyway, when it's going out there, we're not getting crosses or we're not getting um, anything into the box to score a goal. So with Greg out there, the amount of um, ball he would have got, it would have been putting things into the area. Like you see when Jamie came on, where he is a winger, we've got the ball to him and he's put things into the box and we've scored from it. How big a blow to lose Greg in the warm-up, having already lost three players beforehand? It was massive because, like I say, we had no balance to our team because we're having to play a centre forward out on the left wing and he's right footed as well. So it really didn't help us that time. We tried to get Rene on as much as we could, but it's difficult because we don't want to leave ourselves short at the back where they had two up top. So it just unbalanced us that side. So Greg would have made a massive difference today, but three big players out. We tried to win that football match. We dominated the whole game and unfortunately we never got there. Mark Newsham. We've said it, he'll score goals if given the chance, and it was a goal perhaps made in the treatment room. McGee, Cross, Newsham finish. <coughs> the two of them that you've the two of them you've really missed at times, but the two combined when it really mattered. Yeah, you know, McGee come on and done well. Um, obviously he's still not quite got that sharpness, but Noosh is Noosh. He'll find space in the box, he'll find space in her own phone box, I think. But he's there, it's a typical two yard tapping for Noosh, but if he's not on the pitch there probably ain't somebody there to go and finish that chance off. But I thought Noosh done really well, looked a lot sharper. I mean, you see, when he first came on there, he's had his back to goal there with one, he's done a nice little swivel bottom corner. Goalkeeper done really well to save it, in fact. But, but he, he knows where the goal is, he knows what space to go and find, and it really helps us having him back. So we'll get another 90 minutes in him Tuesday, and we'll see where we are with him next Saturday. Um, you must really feel for Mark Jones. He's working so hard, bringing so much to the team, but he just can't buy himself a goal at the moment. Yeah, I think overall his performance today was probably the best he's had for us and warranted a goal. You know, he's, he's run them down the channels, he's won the headers, he's held the ball up and he's played a really good centre-forward role and if he'd have scored that header at the end there, it would have capped off a fine performance. Farrow be next week in the trophy. Bad defeat for them today at Hyde. Can't decide whether that's a good thing for you or not. The fact that they'll probably now be extra fired up and looking to make amends. Yeah, that's normally how it works. But, you know, if they've lost to Hyde, away, they're, they're vulnerable maybe, you know, because you'd expect them to go there and get a result, a draw at least. So let's see if we can go there and take advantage. We'll get our players back next week, or we'll try and get Garns back. I'd like to think um, Greg will be back. Noosh and McGill have another two games under their, or another game under their belt. So we should be a lot stronger next week.